This is the side of the organ that you seldom get to see. Actually, what I'm going to show you now is the inside of the organ and all of the different parts that make the organ work. There are fewer of them than you might think. Let's start off with the stop tablets. Now, on the front of the organ, around the horseshoe rail and on the back rail, is a whole series of stop tablets, and they move up and down to turn them off and on. They also have an electromagnet which can automatically pull these stops to the on or off position. These electromagnets are driven by what we call a computerized driver board. Let me show you what they look like. The wires that come off of the back of that stop wire into the inputs of this computerized driver board. In the back of the organ, you will find these driver boards in several different places. They drive all of the magnets of the stops. So if we look in the rear of the organ, this is what all of those stops look like from the rear. You can see that they are all cabled through these large cables and they come around into the artisan driver boards. Now next, the artisan driver board is connected through a six wire phone cable into our computer module. This is the micro MIDI board. And you will see that it has two MIDI plugs on the front, one for in and out. It has the connection on the side for the phone cable going to the driver boards and also the input boards. We'll see those in just a minute. And on this side we have the connection for the 5 volt power and ground into the micro MIDI board. The ground is on this side and the power is on this side. And we have six other inputs that can be used for things like the organ expression pedals. This is the back of the organ expression pedals. Your foot moves these to change the volume of the organ. They wire into these terminals on the micro MIDI board. Now the micro MIDI board is really the entire brain center of the control system. If you look very closely, you will see that these micro MIDI boards are located across the back of the organ. And each one has a different purpose. The ones that are here are wired into these driver boards that actually run the magnets on the stops. This is for a combination action. As you press a piston, you will have groups of these stops turn on to select the combinations that you want for your music. The last part that we have is called an input board. This is the way the input board looks. And it has two rows of connections across the top. Your keyboards and your stops all wire into input boards just like this. These input boards then also wire into the micro MIDI modules. Now each one of the micro MIDI modules is coupled together and forms a long daisy chain. All of that together makes up the entire workings of a large organ just like this one. It's really amazing to think that those very few parts can be used to build an organ this complex. Let's go back to the music now.